Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and back behind me is a classic travel trailer I've owned for a few years now. I've pretty much mostly had it parked in my backyard. I pulled it out the other day, clean it up, do some work on it, and I shot a very short video. Uh, one of the viewers said, hey, can we get a tour of that? So we'll do a quick tour of that, and I'll show you the condition it's in. But the reason why I pulled out this trailer was because how do you tow it? Now, you probably know I'm interested in electric vehicles, so if we take a look here, here we have a electric Ford Ranger pickup truck. So this is a factory built electric truck from 1998 built by Ford. It is a stock electric vehicle. Uh, one thing kind of interesting is the charge port up here. Uh, it's old enough to have collector plates or classic plates on it. And what I want to do is I want to tow. So I've got this truck with this 16 foot classic trailer uh, ready to get pulled behind it. The trailer needs a little bit of work still though. Like for instance, it does not have working trailer lights on it. But on this truck, I do have a class three hitch. So this thing can pull a lot of weight. It can take, I think 600 pounds as tongue weight, uh, 3,500 pounds towing. Uh, and there's a 90 horsepower electric motor back there. Uh, the actual frame of this trailer itself is pretty good. It's a cool classic vintage. Um, let's take a look inside. It has two doors and it is single axle. So if we come inside, on the right hand side, the front, we've got our little dinette. Um, I did pull out the cushions from the seats because those were nibbled on by mice and they're all gross. Uh, the table does fold and it hinges down so it uh, can become a bed across here. And then up above it, uh, we've got this bunk. We'll see if I can lower it with one hand. Um, it just folds down to become a bunk bed, which is kind of cool. So you basically have a upper bunk and a lower bunk when that table is down. Uh, we got plenty of windows. I got the windows open for fresh air in here. Now under the seats, um, there's a water pressure tank and a pump. Uh, over on this side, the storage, I'm not gonna show you under there because they're both all gross and a mess. And you know, mice got in there. It's all gross. It needs a really good cleaning. None of that works either. None of the wiring or the plumbing in here is in working condition. So there's electric outlets, there's some lights, but none of that works. We got some upper cabinets here, uh, including this is a gas lamp, which is kind of cool because you could have light with using natural gas instead of electricity as an option, kind of neat. Um, to the right of where we come in, there's a furnace. Again, that's something I've never had working in the time that I've owned this. Next to it, we've got uh, closet, closet pool, upper storage. Next to that, a couple of drawers. I think originally right here was a propane refrigerator. Uh, right now it's just kind of an empty box, but I believe it was for a propane fridge. Uh, we've got our kitchenette by the back door. Uh, mice got in here. They made a big gross mess, especially in the oven. I wiped everything down, cleaned it up pretty good, but the inside of the oven is nasty, nasty, nasty. That oven would have to be replaced. Uh, sink doesn't look bad. Uh, for the plumbing in this, it does not have a gray water tank and a black water tank. It just has two pipes that run down and out as a uh, gray water pipe from the sink. And then there's also a black water pipe because there is a bathroom right here. So it's got like a ship's head style toilet, has a shower. And remember, I'm shooting this all with a fisheye lens. So kind of the curve back here. Another thing too, is we can see there is water damage to a number of places in the ceiling of this trailer. So kind of notably up here, you can certainly see some of the water damage. Um, I did replace that vent. That's a modern one I got from a friend, but just uh, like here, for example, you can see uh, there's, there's a leak or two in the roof. That's obviously an issue. Um, Upper cabinets, lower cabinet sink, back door. Now, if we look at the back here too, uh, there's a couple places where you can see clearly there are some issues. Oh. 
rotted out corner here, rear bumper, that's all rusted. Uh, this is a single axle trailer. The axle and bearings look good. The tires are uh, very old. They hold air, but they're very, very old. It looks like they have trailer brakes on the back, although those are not wired up. Again, too, you can see. Oh, there's a good example. <laughs> Need some work. Um, likewise, on the back here, we got some rot going on. Uh, like if we, I don't know if we can see it. Yeah, that wood is totally gone. You're just seeing the, uh, um, the aluminum in there. Again, some wetness. Uh, certainly the paint has seen better days. Uh, the windows for the most part work pretty well. One of them is broken. All the rest are pretty good. Again, looking at the tires. I mean, at least the tires hold air, but it definitely needs new tires. I mean, it's a cool trailer, but it uh, certainly needs some work to make it really usable and roadworthy and do everything you would like a travel trailer to do. So, I mean, the trailer is pretty cool. I like the vintage. The frame itself is pretty good, but to really use it properly would need quite a bit of work. I've already got a lot of projects, so chances are I'm probably going to be selling this, but the big thing I was really interested in is just uh, the towing capabilities of this Ford Ranger EV truck. So I think bare minimum, I'm going to take this down the block. I'm going to take it in a circle, feel how this is to pull. Uh, another thing somebody said to me uh, was because of how the batteries are in the Ford Ranger, it would be really, really easy to parallel up a second battery pack. Now the battery pack that's in there weighs about 1,200 pounds. So if I put another 1,200 pounds in this trailer, I could double the battery capacity uh, now, of course, I'd take a huge hit to range from the weight, but I'd also have the gain of all the battery. So at least the trailer would uh, pull its own weight, if you will. Uh, that's just a crazy project idea, but some people have done range extending trailers before, so it's not out of the realm of uh, possibility anyways. Uh, anyhow, I just wanted to show you this trailer, and thank you so much for you know following my various projects. I always appreciate the positive feedback that I get on them. So the blue trailer, I don't know exactly what we're gonna do with it, but we definitely have some more videos coming on the Ford Ranger EV, including putting lithium batteries in it. So make sure you uh, ring the bell, subscribe, comment, check things out over at 300mpg.org. And until next time, stay charged up.